All right, hello, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How is everyone doing? Hope everyone's having a great night or day, depending on what time it is for you. Happy Tuesday. If it's still Monday for you, then happy Monday. Tonight we're going to be playing more Pokemon Moon Cosmic Chaos. Um, I believe we're about to go into the Ruins of Life to meet with Olivia, which is the... Akala Islands, uh, Kahuna. So we're about to go face our grand trial and stuff like that. But yeah, hope everyone had a great weekend. Hope everyone is having a good week, good new week so far. Yeah, let's hop right in here. Heal up Marowak before we do anything. Which Pokemon do you think is fitting with the grave? Let's battle. Perhaps you'll figure it out. Maybe. Oh, you're an actual. <laughs> you, you keep your actual avatar in this battle. Huh, funny. Glacian user Sayuri. Level 30. Is it ghost type after all? I'm also looking for something that's unexpected. Ooh, I got 46,000. Or 4,600. Alright, let's continue. Trainer tips. If you touch a Pokemon's icon during a Pokemon battle, you can see detailed information about how it will stack up in battle. Interesting. Punk Girl sounds scary, doesn't it? Please be friendly and call me Punky. Alright. You're a breeder. Melissa. <coughs> Celebi? Ooh, shit. Natsu! Welcome to the stream, how are you? Hello! How's Tokyo? Uh, let me 
do you use? Doesn't matter, I guess. Good. It's been a while. Yeah, it has. It has been a while. It's good to see you. <clears throat> How are you? How have you been since the last time I saw you? <laughs> I don't know when was the last time you, you were here. Now we're 31. Every time 30. Saw so One Piece store in Tokyo. Ooh. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. I would probably if I man, if I was there and I had the money, I'd probably buy the whole store. <laughs> man, I need I need more One Piece merch. It'd be awesome. Just decorate my whole room with uh One Piece stuff. Here's a super potion. There we go. I would, if I see like One Piece stuff or Pokemon stuff, man, I'll buy them. Hey, are you, are you there visiting or like, are you visiting Tokyo or do you live there? Because I don't recall. You telling me where you were from. I'm sorry if you did and I don't remember. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Team Skull, give that po uh, get back that Pokemon. Hello? Don't give me trouble. I'll reduce you to rubble. That's right. We're going to sell this Pokemon to get rich. We won't make no bones about it. If you want it back, you're gonna have to take it back. Hello? Stand firm. Think of what the president would say. Wait, that's what you say, Chief. But you don't lift a finger. Why, I am the Aether Foundation's last line of defense. What would become of the Foundation if something were to happen to me now? Ah, here's a promising young trainer. Fight in my stead, child, and route, and route these Team Skull Rufians. I will bestow honor upon you if you do. You ready? Cause I was born ready, yo. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, this won't be grunt. Oh, it's a room. was pathetic. Your moves were so kinetic. You don't need this Pokemon anyway. Take it then. Good luck and good riddance. Whew. No. <laughs> I guess Slowpoke has no idea what's going on. Thanks, kid. Yes, indeed. You are a trial goer, aren't you? You're a splendid trainer. I'm deeply impressed. I'd like to reward you by showing you something truly astounding. Once you have finished your grand trial, come, uh, come to Hano Grand Resort, and I will take you to see a wondrous place. Thank you for helping us out. I really owe you. All. I was gonna say one, but then she didn't say one. I'm so glad there are, are nice young trainers like you around. Good luck on your island challenge. Well, thank you. Oh, there's an item back there. God dang it.
Ooh, a pincer. Just chip itself down then. There we go. Alright, flinch. Alright, let's use the net ball and see if Hyper Potion, sweet. Alright, now uh, let's head back around and continue forward. There's a Zygarde cell up there. Ooh, TM. Leech Fish when I think I can catch something. I battle when I think I can win. <clears throat> what do you think you can win? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. Either foundation burn it. Big, welcome to the stream. How are you? Nice entrance. <laughs> All right, Cliff Fables. Just woke up from a nap. Nice. Hopefully you had a good nap. Hope you got some rest. How was the rest of um, Crash Team Racing yesterday after I left? guys had a good time. Still thinking about getting that game. If I have the money. Or when I have the money. I don't know. It's just a lot of games I need to get to play with you guys. 
Play with plushie? Nice. That's fun. Would have been nice if I could have won just by thinking I could win. Well, I didn't. So. Your fault. <laughs> so any items here? No. Excuse me. Good morning. Morning for short. Sightseer Kenji. Guard charm, oh boy. Do I highly recommend it? Like, even just a tad more over Xenoverse. Well, I'll probably get, uh, yeah, I'll probably get Crash Team Racing before I get Xenoverse because. Because Crash Team Racing doesn't have any DLC, and if I get Xenoverse 2, I'll also have to get the DLC, which is like, it's like what, like $20 for the game, and then like $15 for each DLC, like the uh, Super, uh, Super Pass, and the Ultra, no, not Ultra Pass, um, I forgot what the other pass. The, those two DLC passes. Like $15 each, so that's like what? $50 total? That's like 10 more dollars than uh... Um... Whatchamacallit? Uh... CTR? But then, once the, once the Ultra pack comes out, I probably have to get that too. Played that battle well. GG for short. <laughs> well then. But yeah, I'm... I'll... I don't know. I don't know when I'll get it. But hopefully I'll get it soon. CTR has some serious nostalgia. Well, I've never played the old school Crash Team Racing game. Because, again, I never grew up with PlayStation. Oh crap. So... It'd be pretty new to me. Ooh, my act is. Thanks for the raid last night, by the way. No problem. No problem. I don't get, I don't get chances of raiding you often, cause since I stream late at night and you usually stream, like you start your streams in the afternoon. So yeah. One day I'll get CTR, uh, CTR and I'll play with you guys. By the way, guess what I got? What you get? What you get? So you're the one Gladian was talking about. You don't look like anything special to me. I'm Plumeria. I help keep Team Skull together. I'm like a big sister to all these numb skulls. All these skull talks, man. You have realized what idiots are like. You, you have realized what idiots all these guys are, right? But don't you think some dummies are cute in their dumbness? You know what I mean, right? You picking on my cute dumb brothers and sisters is really annoying me. Ooh, you got judgment? Nice. Have you are you gonna stream it or are you just gonna play it off stream? Team Skull at mid boom area. Team Molga.
なんていうのうーんスムッダウンへへへイエスバイ I'll stream it I did play th through some wait、oh, yeah. did play some though and to be honest it's a good thing too cause it's slow to get going from what I've heard、oh. that's cool I mean yeah I mean, even, if it, even if it's slow in the beginning. I don't know, even, even if there are games that I play that are slow in the beginning, I still stream it from the beginning. But, oh, that's just me though.、Um, switch to Cuddles. Are you excited to stream Judgment? you want to see it from the beginning? Hell yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing the game from the beginning. Because then you wouldn't, like, people won't know what happened. If you start off, if, like, if you start streaming that game, like, in,、um, where, you, where you left off, like, you know, you say you played,、uh, you played some of it, and, and then if you stream it, From where you left off, then people that see it on stream won't know what happened, and then you're gonna have to explain it to them. But I mean, if you're okay with that, then well, that's fine. I'm on chapter two, see? Then people just. Then your viewers are gonna miss what happened in chapter one. But again, if you're down to just explain what happened in chapter one, then by all means, do. do whatever. <laughs> Pretty strong, I give you that. If I mess with anyone in Team Skull again, and I'll show you how serious I can get. <clears throat> Alright, let's save. Let's head inside. Dinah. Well, Lady got lost again, so I brought her here to you. She couldn't even find her way to the、uh, Tide Song Hotel on her own. She said she saw Team Skull and tried to avoid them. That's why she got lost. I've gotta go. The Mask Royal has a match, and there's no way, I'm miss、uh, no way that I'm missing it. That Mask Royal. What do you think he looks like under that mask anyway? Good point. From the beginning, it is. Plus, the graphics are so good. Nice. Just hope. Uh, let's just hope that you don't run into that, um, you know, that text to speech issue that you did with, um, Yakuza. I came here for Nebby. Though, as you saw, I didn't come here. Wait. I didn't come here myself so much as I was brought here with the. Professor's help. Oh, look at your poor Suicune. Let me heal it for you, won't you? Aww. Within these ruins waits the guardian deity of Akala Island. This is Tepu Lele's ruin. Pew. You. I know you tried to drag me along to the ruins of conflict on Mele Mele Island, too. Why are these ruins important to you? Why do the guardians. What do the guardians mean to you?、Uh, I shouldn't. I saw someone else stream it and I got the pop up on the corner for chat. Nice. 
Alright, then that's awesome. I'm supposed to be asleep, but I don't mind stopping by. Hey, Remix, welcome to the stream. How are you? Thank you for stopping by. Even though you're, like you said, you are supposed to be sleeping. <laughs> Just think what would happen to you if Dinah hadn't been there back then. Pew. There's Olivia. Oh, haven't I seen you with Kukui? Oh, yes, my name is Lily. I work as Professor Kukui's assistant. And this is Dinah. Oh, sorry, I never even asked your name before, did I? Tabu Lele summoned me here to clean up the ruins. Dinah, thanks for getting to know the people and Pokemon of Alola. We about to battle. Oh my. Hey, Remix, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Busy, been working and catching up on games. Go catch them all and I'll catch you on the next one. Alright, Remix, thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Thank you again. Yeah, thank you again for that host. But yeah. Um, don't overwork yourself and have fun playing those games. Alright then. If you completed the trials of all three captains here on Alcala Island, now you face the grand trial of the Kahuna, me. Get ready for your hardest Pokemon battle yet on, on Akala. I'd love to. Great, we're gonna give you guys everything we've got. And my partners are all adorable, rugged little rock types. Oh boy. Strut. You are challenged by Alan Kahuna Olivia. So, Gabba. Do Clone Hero Plus playing through an episode of Charlie the Unicorn? Wait, what? What kind of Voltorb use bite? That doesn't make sense. Voltorbs don't have mouths, unless they do. That 
the episode as a song and play through it. <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna work out. Yeah. How lovely. Yeah, got 4,000 Pokedollars. dollars. Diamonds only sparkle after coal is pushed to its absolute limit. You guys are the best. Here, the rock type Z crystal, the Rockium Z, is all yours. Yeah. Yeah. New Z crystal, baby. But it'd be funny, I think. But how can you play an episode of Charlie the Unicorn if it's not music? The rock type Z power, you have to move like this to draw it out. Watch carefully because the hip movement is crucial. Sturdy, oh my. Rugged and physically strong, oh my. <laughs> so nothing like me at all. I guess opposites really do attract. Attract. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> I mean, someone played through a flex tape ad on there, really? That's funny. <laughs> just play, just play that uh that Shun episode of Charlie the Uni uh, Charlie the Unicorn on Clone Hero. You look very pleased, don't you? By the way, Lily, this might be a weird question, but why even come to the ruins of life if you're not a trainer? Oh, because of Nebby. It's not originally from here and I want wait it's not originally from here and I want to help it get it uh help it get back to its home but I don't have any idea how to do that. It seems fond of the ruins for some reason so I keep visiting them and hoping that maybe I will find some clue to help it. So they don't see Pokemon like that every day. Tepulele may be called the guardian deity of our island but it can also run wild at times. Regular Pokemon normally avoid the Guardians at all costs. Unless they are strong enough to face the Tapu themselves, that is. Shamwow. 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 Pew? Wait, that can't be right. I think your journey will hold many surprises, and I hope it holds many joys. I'll take you back to town, Lily. You're doing everything you can for your partner, even though you're not a trainer. I like that kind of person, so I can't help but give you a hand. Oh, you're Kahuna Olivia. I'm Hal from Icky Town. You gotta let me battle you. Oh, hey, Dinah. Guess what? This weird green guy from from Aether told me to come to Hano Grand Resort once I finished up my with my grand trial here on Akawa. Crazy, right? Oh, the Aether Foundation? I'm not sure what he wants with you, Dinah, but why not go find out? If you don't want to keep him waiting, then Charizard should get you there in no time. The Hano Grand Resort lies just over the bridge near the Dimensional Research Lab. The, the Aether Foundation? Um, I think I'll stay here. i like to see how Hal's battle goes too. Even though I hate to see Pokemon get hurt. But I know that both both of your Pokemon are dedicated to battling beside you two. I may not be as strong as my Gramps, Hala, but I can still raise, uh, raise up Dartrix and the rest of my team to their best. 
But just how, right? What's wrong with that? Who cares if you're Hala's grandson? Now show me what Hao can do. Uncut. Gonna be gonna get dinner, went to sleep without it. Alright. Enjoy your dinner. We'll be here. <clears throat> okay. Hey, Callie, welcome to the stream. How are you? <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Got 28,000. You're okay? Why oh, just okay? You? I'm alright. Just chilling. We haven't been up for long. Just, uh, we've been up for 38 minutes, so. Just. I kinda got started. But I'm chilling, I'm doing good. Hopefully you're doing well and feeling better. Alright, gotta go to the Grand Resort here. I live my life in search of pleasure. I wonder if I'd find something new to enjoy if I went through the Island Challenge once again. Oh, plushies online. <clears throat> really out of breath. I want to stream after you, but I don't know if I can. I mean, don't push yourself if you can't. I say get some rest. Okay. Hey, the Pelipper is flying. I want to get carried around in Pelipper's beak too. Take me, every, uh, take me somewhere. That Pelipper. Do you think it's wild, or does it belong to someone at the hotel? Oh, is it? Guess it's as good as mine. Well, it's so interesting because it has all these different architecture styles, thanks to so many people coming here from all over. And for now, I'm just gonna hang out and draw. Alrighty. Well, I appreciate you being here, and uh, thank you for the 10 berries. No, that was a, a delay, thank you, but... <clears throat> thank you nonetheless. Alright. Master Chuster, this is your first vacation in three years. Please forget that you are a famous star and just enjoy being a regular Pikachu for once. Pikachu! Pika? Shoo Shoo. The fuck? Shoo shoo. You're telling me to shoo, you jerk. Okay. Come on, Stoutland. We'll get this beach pristine in no time. And a bag full of new treasures, too. Once we find all the hidden items in the sand. It's fine. I don't do it for the thanks. Well, I got to thank you because you didn't have to give me bits. <laughs> I'm a real man of the seas, and I consider it my duty to keep the beach safe. So here's my warning to you. The only people you'll find swimming in the water here are Pokemon trainers. Be careful out there. Alright. <clears throat> the only reason I can luxuriate like this 
now is thanks to the work I do here on this beach. If you're interested in some part-time work, why don't you try chucking some pyukumuku? Maybe. Maybe. Here, why don't you take this? Soda pop? Well, thank you. What? Would you rather have had the soda pop that I already started drinking? Ooh. Ooh, how lewd. She wants to share. Oh my. <laughs> Glistening sweat, slippery, slippery goo. Perfect tune that keeps Hano Beach going. Pukumuku chucker, uh, Pukumuku chuckers are desperately needed. Won't you become a Pukumuku chucker? What's that? I'm one of the staff members responsible for keeping Hano Beach spotless for our guests. But Pukumuku sometimes wriggle up on our beach from the sea. <coughs> I don't know what, I don't know why they do it, but we can't just leave them there. I get cooties. Maybe that's how I get cooties. Welcome back, Underbait. Shovel on the land, and that's not all. I guess get grossed out seeing them. Sometimes even get hurt stepping on them. So we end up, so we end up with no choice but to chuck those poor pukumuku back into the sea. I'll explain the job to you. It's pretty easy. Step one: catch pukumuku. Step two: throw the pukumuku back into the sea. Step three: report back to me once every last pukumuku, yeah, on the beach is returned to the sea. So what do you say? Think you've got what it takes to be a pukumuku chucker? Sure I do. Then get every last pukumuku on this beach diving back into the sea. Let's see. I can still see six pukumuku left on the sand, and in need of saving. All right. Got another Zygarde cell. Cooties? No! Can't leave cooties from sharing. Oh! Right, right. But some people don't mind sharing, especially if it's with a, you know, a nice lady. <laughs> a nice lady. Ooh, a Rayquaza! Oh shit! Oh, you gotta get cooties too. <laughs> You're gonna get cooties too. Dang it. That didn't do shit. Cooties. I'll get her cooties. <laughs> Them. It's gonna be the my goodies. <laughs> no! Oh, I killed it. God damn it. <laughs> Give me some of that cootie. Oh man. Trainer tips. You can use a TM as many times as you like, but teaching your Pokemon moves of different types, you can ensure that your team will always be able to battle advantageously. Okay, there's a Pukumuku right here. Let me chuck you back in the sea. Puk. Muk. You chuck the Pukumuku back into the sea. There's one. So we gotta find six of them. Here's another one. <coughs> There's two. So now there's four sand things. Let's see. No. Let's see what this one is. Ooh, another 
Are they all gonna be Rayquazas? So that's just gonna, gonna give me multiple chances of catching one. <laughs> Get that elementary school insult out of here. <laughs> and I'll be just went on one too. Everyone's going online today. Want waffles? Dude, I want waffles. Chicken and waffles? Heck yeah, let's go to IHOP. Or Denny's, whichever. Man, you know it's good though. Yeah, we got a Rayquaza, heck yes! Heck yeah! I hope sounds so bomb, it does. It does. Night Slash, ooh. Kiwi's allowed. <laughs> yeah, but I wonder if all of them are going to be the quizzes. Oh, they are. Yeah, freaking diamond. an item. Find an orange berry, sweet. So yeah, I think all of them are just gonna be Rayquaza, so we're just gonna leave those two. Ooh, there's an item right there. And there's a splash of water. Oh shit. By the way, Nabe, what are you having for dinner? Let's see... Can you run away from me? No. Oh, you can. Just want this item. Pearl string. Heck yeah. No! Aww. Uh -huh. Couldn't move fast enough. Holy crap! Yo. Heck yeah, I'm catching this thing. Thinking, thinking about it. Maybe some 
chicks and elbow macaroni. Some chicks. That doesn't sound right. Chicken? Damn. Garrett Grima. Hello, welcome to the stream. How are you? No, let's try one more. Oh my gosh. And now I'm gonna. Woohoo! Alright. <coughs> this next Pokemon. Get some chicks, I mean chicken. <laughs> Alright. We'll be here. Enjoy your chicks. Alright. Enjoy them premature chickens. <laughs> LOL. What's up, Kelly? What happened? Something happened? Yeah. You made a funny. I made a funny? Did I make a funny? What do you mean I made a funny? I is confused. How did I make a funny? You made a joke? Did I? I made a funny. <laughs> Kinda funny. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm lost. It was funny. 
OMG. What? I'm confused. What's going on? You don't even remember? Did I? Did it just like went past my head that that quickly? Premature chickens. Oh that yeah. Oh. I didn't I didn't even really think of it of it as a joke. Baseball. <laughs> That's the funny. I don't know, I just said it randomly. I'm sorry I didn't catch to my own joke. This is number three. Number four. I thought you were making a loot joke. No. I just said it because chicks are young, young chickens. Premature chickens. Looks like all the pukamuku are gone from the beach. Alright, let's go talk to the Marion. Oh my, how lewd! <laughs> oh my, how lewd. Good job, part timer. Got every last Pukamuku that was stranded on the beach back into the sea. Now they are safe, where, uh, safe back where they should be, and the beach is safe for our guests. You're a real good worker, you know. You have a real knack for pukumuku chucking. <clears throat> and I've got your pay ready for you right here. Take it, you've earned it. Ooh, we got 20,000 Poke Dollars for that? Heck yeah! I can decide what to draw. Draw another emo, maybe. A lot of tourists from other regions don't understand their appeal. It's a real shame. No matter how many times we toss them back into the sea, they come wriggling back up the next morning like clockwork. Feel free to come back and help again whenever you have some spare time. Well, heck yeah. Make some more money? Make another 20,000? Heck yeah. <laughs> Draw me as a Pokemon. <laughs> That's what I want to do, just not sure what of. Wooloo. Or Marie. Do it. Bellhop is the first member of the hotel staff that I guess encounters when they arrive. First impressions are very important, just as important as the first move you have. To, you have your po uh, your first Pokemon use in a Pokemon battle. When a bellhop moves up the ranks, he can become a bell captain. Now that's a weird title. Marie would be cute, yes. Draw like, um, I don't know. Yeah, just draw like a Marie email. I don't know like a, like what expression, but not to start, right? <laughs> Alola is how we say hello. Alola is how we say farewell. May the love of sun and moon shine upon you. Well, thank you, good sir. I'm one of the bellhops. Ring the bell and I'll hop up to serve you. Alola is the land where I was born. Alola is the home I was born into. Welcome, and please feel at home as well. The touch of the Alola breeze feels like being wrapped in kindness. Wait. Wait and feel it blow over you. Blow me. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> so you've come at last. Ah, but forgive me, I have yet to introduce myself. You may call me Faba. 
I told you before that I would show you someplace astounding, right? Well, that wondrous place is oh Aether, Aether Paradise. Oh my. Let me tell you about Aether Paradise. Just as the name suggests, Aether Paradise is a veritable paradise for Pokemon that floats far out in the sea surrounding Alola. It is an artificial island made entirely by human technology for the protecting of Pokemon. Of course, I'm an adult who keeps his promises, so I will prove to you that all I've told you is the absolute truth with a tour of Aether Paradise. You come, won't you? Um, I want to explore the, uh, hmm, yes. Well, children are often too frivolous and aimless to properly think through. <clears throat> I mean, they value their freedom, so... But the answer that I want to hear from you is a resounding yes. Now let's hear it. Well, I want to explore the place first. Jeez, bossy little... Asshole. <laughs> Alright. Would you like to show me how much your Pokemon have grown since joining your team? Not yet. Not now, at least. Uh, nothing. It's my solemn duty to teach a move to a mythical Pokemon. Although I'm on vacation, I could teach a move to your mythical Pokemon. What do you say? Yes? What a shame. Uh, Keldeo or Meloetta? Okay, I don't have those two. At least not yet. <laughs> oh, oh, by the way, guys, um, I don't know if you guys saw my announcement on my, um, on my Twitter or on my Discord, but I did add some new items to my merch store if you guys want to check that out. <clears throat> See what's over here. You did, I did. Would you just look at those biceps? They're bulging with strength. They're practically big enough to burst. Yay, Dino merge, yes. Can you even imagine how far you'd be able to drive a golf ball with muscles like those? Ma. My champ seems uncomfortable. Oh my, how <laughs> oh my, how lewd. Should you stop them? You'll probably get dragged into a battle. Yeah, I, um... Like I said before, I, I wanted to add some phone cases to the merch store, and I did this time, but the only choices they have uh, in Streamlabs were uh, iPhone and Samsung phone cases, unfortunately. Sadly, they don't have like other companies of phones. Like, I would definitely, like, if they had like Pixel um, options, I would definitely add those to the um, to the shop. But they only have um, iPhone and Samsung, sadly. Have to get a sticker at least soon. Yeah, I have stickers. I added uh yeah three stick three three different size stickers to the um to the shop. But yeah, um the phone cases that I've added to the uh, merch store are iPhone seven and eight, even iPhone seven plus and eight plus, iPhone ten, ten S, uh ten R and ten S Max, and for Samsung I got the S9, S9 Plus, uh, S10, S10 Plus, and the S10e. But yeah. Which Samsung phone do you have? Uh, on the break, I forgot. Cause I think the oldest they go to in the shop is um, pretty sure it's S6. I think. Should you stop them? Um, stop them, I guess. I don't know. S7 Edge? They do. They did have a S7 Edge uh, option, but I did not add that to the shop. But if I did, will you get one? 
Uh, excuse you? What do you think you're doing? We hired this big fella to be our caddy. We're in the middle of something important right now. So how about you get out of my grill? Yeah, you get lost, would you? Oh. You about to battle. You about to battle. Swimmer Terra. Uh, wait. Swimmer Terra and Swimmer Girls Tina. But if I did, would you get one? What do you mean? Would I get one? Why would I get a, a Samsung phone case? I don't have a Samsung phone. Ooh, Incineroar and an Espeon. Interesting. Just imagine that little that was not the end. The heck? Oh. Oh. Oh, you're repeating what I said. Gotcha. Gotcha. But yeah. Would you? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no I'll have to add it later though, because I didn't add a an S7 edge option. No, it doesn't come with a screen protector, sadly. It's just it's just the the phone case. <clears throat> no pressure? Oh the pressure. <laughs> um what did I try to use? Mirror shot, right? Yeah. Let's use charge beam. So it's like that. Mystery is too deep. Let's see, 3000. Noise. All the pressure. Mm. What is up with you? Alright, just totally killed the mood. Let's just go. Jeez, you little. What was that, huh? You trying to be a hero or something? What you gonna do that for, huh? I'm not a Pokemon. I'm a. Born and bred human being, duh. Oh my. Oh my. This is just a costume. Like, seriously, lady. Are you just here to ruin my day? Going and blowing all the all the hard work that I put into disguising myself as a Machamp caddy? I was going to make some real bank off this job. And then, you had to come along and try to rescue me. And I want to cry right now, but... I know you were just trying to help. I can't get mad for what you did, so here, just take this. Attract. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Now get lost. I know you talk to me again. Bitch, I'll talk to you again. I told you not to talk to me. Bitch, I talk I'll talk to you whenever I want. Alright. We good. <laughs> we just cock locked that guy to the max. Okay. Salandit, salandit, poisonous gas smells as sweet as my flower, but breathe it in and you're done for. I'll try watering it down to use it in perfume, but I'm not having any luck. You're trying to kill someone. 
Listen kid, if you don't throw common sense out the window sometimes, you'll never be able to discover anything new. Try everything out, different abilities, moves, items, that's how you make a breakthrough. A good Pokemon will listen to what others think around and around it and then discover its own mind. Same goes for a good woman too. Is that so? I'm the hotel detective for this establishment, but the people in the Lola are so easygoing that nothing troublesome ever happens around here. There's nothing for me and my cadaver to do. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Indeed. Alright. Um. Hey there, trainer. They call me Future. People call me the sound making machine that can make the hits of the not so distant future. And, and this here beside me is my partner, Hit. The fuck? Puppy Pokemon can be pretty scatterbrained, always barking up the wrong tree at things, but you can't beat their beautiful cries. If it. See, thanks to this clever girl and her lovely voice, writing new songs is as easy as pie. Now I probably don't even need to ask, but you have heard of me before, right? Uh, not till today. <laughs> oh, that's bad news for you, friend. You are clearly behind on the times. Guess I'll make sure people know who I am. If not through songs, then through battle. Oh, Salty's on. Salty just went live. Alright. That's the tune I've been waiting to hear. I hope they're. I hope you're ready to face future. Youngster Roger. Ha! Ah. Cross laps. It's a shiny? What the heck? Interesting. So confused. Yes. Bye. All right. Thirty-three. We also learned thrash. Nah, we're not gonna learn thrash. Ding, da da ding. Hmm. Would you look at that hit? This trainer is amazing. I think I've thought of my next future hit melody thanks to that battle. Look at that! Even Hit is getting excited. She's normally so laid back about everything. Let me give you a little present to thank you for this dose of inspiration. A metronome. Interesting. Awesome. That metronome right there is a key tool if you hope to capture the song of the future. I don't know how to use it for battling though. You'll have to tune it into that for yourself. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. Moving on. Moving over here. Let's go here. 
you look at this thing? This toy looks like an oddish, right? It does. It does. Okay. Whether it's your golf swing or your battle skills, it's hard to improve without a bit of guidance. I've been learning so much about my game from Miss Kahili. She's a real golf pro. Okay. Is that everyone? Okay, let's talk to the people at the counters. The owner of the Hano Grand Resort is a great golf fan, and his daughter, Miss Kahili, is a world class golfer herself, and a real strong trainer, too. Miss Kahili. I think she's part of the Elite Four, if I'm mistake, if I remember correctly. I'm trying out a new art program, so complicated. Oh, you'll get, you'll get used to it. You can do it. <coughs> oh. You got this, Kelly. You got this. We welcome you gladly to the Grand Grandois. That's how you say it? Grand I don't know. Uh, Hano, Hano Grand Hotel. Thank you, good sir. Let's talk to you. I can't make any recommendations on behalf of the hotel, but I can tell you this. Whatever type of Pokemon that your Pokemon are weak to, you should have other Pokemon on your team that are effective against that type. Yeah. Add, you can do it as a sound command. I should. <sighs> all these sound commands I'm forgetting to add. Damn it all. Alright, so let us save here. Oh, shit. Nope, nope, nope. What's complicated about Cal? Yeah, what is complicated about it? Alright, um, no, actually, let, uh, let me go uh, heal. Go to the Pokemon Center and heal. Right one, right. So everything is different? Uh, gotcha. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, let's some puncture balls. Super repels. Actually, I want to go back to um. Route 8, so I'm gonna go to Pokemon Center, buy more quick balls. Okay. 
That's what I was going to hope too. Ross Rock Schneider would say, you can do it. <laughs> yes. We believe in you, Kelly. Oh, shit. Oops. Oh, excuse me. Now we can go to either paradise. Good, good. And you'll come with me. Either paradise will amaze you. Wait, right, take me too. Oh, even Kahuna Olivia has come to see you off. As a Kahuna, I look after all the childgoers who come to my island. They're like my own children. Not that I've gotten any. I've never even gotten married. Listen up, you two. Your greatest opponent is, al is always yourself. Your greatest ally is the Pokemon beside you. Thanks. Are you coming too, Professor? I've got my own business to attend to. You go see all the amazing tech that Aether's developing, and tell me about it later, yeah? That's right. I'll see you on the next island. Ula Ula Island, yeah? Um, is that how you say it? Ula Ula Island? I don't know. Now let's meet up with... Meet up at Mali Garden. Or Molly Garden. I don't know. Yep, it's goodbye, Akala Island. Though I guess we can come back anytime we want to, huh? Now let's enjoy an adventure upon that grand vessel that will take us across the high seas. By which I mean to say the ferry. Of course. Ooh, what a fancy boat. Can you believe a big hunk of iron like either paradise can float on the s in the sea? And it's all because it's all cause of the Pokemon holding it up. Did you know that, Dino? I knew that. Aw, uh, I thought I finally had one up on you. Ha, <laughs> you ain't gonna get me. I can't wait to actually see either paradise for myself. Lego to either paradise. Too. This is Aether Paradise. Hey, 
Nether Paradise is a facility created for conservation of Pokemon. It has been outfitted with all of the latest technology for this purpose. Downstairs are teamwork, uh, teams work on developing new Pokeballs and more. Yes, all for the sake of Pokemon conservation. Though so you will not be able to use any of your Pokeballs within either paradise. A jamming signal is broadcast throughout the facility to prevent them from functioning. Hmm. Is that so? Excuse me, Mr. Faba. Yes, excuse you? What is the meaning of that form of address? Or form of address? I don't know. <clears throat> I have a title for a reason. How else will anyone know how important I am? Yes, branch manager Baba. Now, I must go speak with the president about our conservation efforts on Akala. Show these children around, and then take them to meet the president as well. This guy's a douche. This guy's a total douche. Douche. Whew. Welcome to Aether Paradise, Dinah and Hal. My name is Wick. John Wick? <laughs> Hello. Wait, you know who we are? How'd you know that? One of our employees told me about your meeting on Akala Island. And of course, I heard how you help protect the Pokemon here too, miss. Uh, they're too young, Mr. Howe. A real bad of douche. John Wick! <laughs> Thank you very much. Let me show you around. The main entrance is uh, above us. Can't beat me to it. <laughs> Shall we zip our right up there? Let's do it. Now off we go. Pretty. This is the main entrance. You can have your Pokemon taken care of at the reception desk there if they need it. Dinah? You and Hal are both trial goers, aren't you? Are you uh, are you hoping to become champions? I suppose you must be around 11 then. How do you know? Yeah, I took the first I took the first chance I had to join in on but uh, join in the island challenge once I turn 11. Cause someday, I really want to be able to beat my Gramps, but he's way too strong. How, how lovely for you. I suppose all children must yearn to take a journey of their own, choosing when they get to be about your age. But you're hardly just children anymore. Trainers are like parents to their Pokemon. Dinah, how? Would you two like to see the conservation area upstairs? We'll zip right up. Let's do it. Already. Either Paradise is a safe haven for all Pokemon. For this reason, the use of Pokeballs is strictly forbidden within the conservation area. Wow. We keep Pokemon that have been targeted by Team Skull here. We also try to support Pokemon that need a little extra protection. Like Corsola, for example. They are quite terribly overhunted by a Pokemon called. Toxapex. I hope you don't mind if I read a passage from my Pokedex. Toxapex. Toxapex crawls along the ocean floor on its 12 legs. It leaves a trail of Corsola bits scattered in its wake. 
Oh my, that's scary. Yeah, my grandpa is always saying that nature's got its cruel side, sure as it gives us blessings. But can the Aether Foundation really protect all the Pokemon that are out there? That are out there? Nature does have its own balance, of course. It can be difficult to judge just how much we humans should try to affect that, can't it? It's pretty amazing. The Aether Foundation seems awesome. But why'd you bother setting up a branch in a place like Alola? I couldn't say. It's hard to know for sure what our president is thinking sometimes. If you'd like to meet President Lusamine, she should be here in the conservation area now. Okay, mm, let's travel, shall we? Well, not travel, but like, uh, explore. Imagine using the same Pokemon in your boxes in battle again for hun after hundreds of years. It's like a kind of time machine, isn't it? PC boxes were first developed by a guy in the Kanto region called Bill. Yes, I know that. Apparently, he's a real Pokemon maniac. Yes, he is. When Pokemon evolve, their appearance can change quite a lot. Some Pokemon can also change forms, which can change how they look and their stats. And then there are the regional variants, which are quite another thing altogether. Pokemon don't just change into regional variants, like they might change forms. Starmie is known as the mysterious Pokemon. If it's really a star from the sky, or wait, if it's really a star from the night sky appearing to us in a different form, then it's a Pokemon. Wait, then it's like a Pokemon is just using us humans and making us take care of. It. Do you imagine things like that? I do. No. <laughs> I do not. Alright. Uh, let's talk to this one over here. Oh, it's Grimers. Regional variants. It can all seem a bit complicated, but think about it like this. If you visit a tropical region, you get a tan, right? Isn't it something like that? Is it? I wouldn't really compare it to a tan. My sweet Pokemon, I promise I'll keep you safe. I'll protect you with my love. Ah. Some futuristic shoes you got there, or heels. You must be Dinah and Hal. Welcome to Aether Paradise, the Aether Foundation's own private island. I am the president of the foundation. Please, but please, just call me Lusamine. I'm so glad that we've got to meet. I'm glad there are people like you who travel the islands to learn more about Pokemon. But there are also those unfortunate people who harm Pokemon for their own selfish reasons or even for profit. And that is why I am here. I will be like a mother to all of those poor Pokemon and shower them with love. Mm -hmm. Even Pokemon from distant worlds, far from the Alola region, are worthy of my love. How oh, Miss Luzamine? I don't know how you do all this. You're like not even that much older than us. Oh, you sweet boy. I'm already over 40. <laughs> Uh, you are? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, you. The right style does. Wait, the right style does wonders, you know? And how? Your style is a bit wanting, hmm? 
I'll have to take you out sometime and help you pick a smashing outfit. Like, what you wear? I don't think anyone else could pull off that kind of look, except maybe Lily. Don't you worry. You just leave everything uh, wait, everything up to me. Trust me, children would all be much happier if they only listened to the adults around them. Oh shit. Oh shit. That tremor. Does something happen on the lower floors? It's ultra wormhole. Did you come from another world? Miss Lusami, stand back. That thing's not right. You poor creature. Oh, we're gonna battle it? I guess we have to. Use my Ultra Beast against another Ultra Beast. Well, let's do it. Question mark up here. I don't know what the, I forgot what this thing is called. Identified unidentified creature disappeared. So it's true. I still need that Pokemon. I need to get it back. What? Does this doesn't mean did you say something? That evil smile though. That smirk. That creature we just saw was undoubtedly an ultra beast. An unknown being from another dimension that suddenly appears from the ultra wormhole. It looks like it was suffering, like it pained. Wait, like it pained it to be in this strange place. I can't bear to see what happened. I will save it, and I will love it. Oh man, she sounds like she's about to make love to that thing. <laughs> thank you, both of you. Thank you so much. Wick. These two are still in, in the middle of their island challenge, aren't they? Please deliver them back to their or please deliver them to their next island. Oh, at once, ma'am. I will go check wait, I will go to check that none of our poor resident Pokemon came to any harm. We need to speak with Mr. Faba about exactly what happened downstairs. And of course, I will have to start preparing the foundation for our newest and perhaps greatest duty yet, the protection of the Ultra Beasts. Ultra! Plus Ultra! <laughs> I'll see that. I'll see the two of you to Ulala Island then.
Never thought I'd actually get to see the Ultra Wormhole in my life. Gotta tell Professor Bernay about this the next time we see her. I don't know if what happened should be rightly described as an accident, but I think it's probably best if you do so. Anyway, I was very glad to get to meet you both. Please take this to remember your visit. Some mal malasadas for how? Yes, big malasadas, awesome! Isn't it crazy how malasadas taste even better when you eat them together with someone else? Yes, I think I know what you mean. Meals always taste better when you share them with the ones you love. And for you, Dinah, a TM for the move Psychic. Yeah! We get Psychic, yeah! I hope you both have wondrous adventures on your island challenge. Bye. We will. Thanks, Miss Wick. Now off to. Oh, my heart's still kind of racing, you know. The ultra wormhole is real, and ultra bees are real too. The world is just way too big. I bet we'll discover even more new things on the next island too. We're gonna need all the energy we can get. Time to dig in. You want a malasada? Ah, so good. Shoot, I already ate the whole thing. <laughs> So wish me luck on my Fletchender SOS Shiny Hunt. Well, good luck. Hope you find that uh, Flet Shiny Fletchender. Wait, yeah. But also, welcome to the stream. Land Ahoy! Alright, Terra Firma underfoot again. Ula Ula Island is like in another totally different place than Melee Melee or Akala, huh? Post on my sketch in our Discord? Ooh, gotta see that. Got an idea, Dino. Let's have a battle. Sure. I want my Pokemon to get a deep breath of this fresh new air. Don't worry, I will make sure both our teams are in fighting form first. <coughs> game are you catching a Flechinder on, Gary? Shiny hunting. <laughs> Pokemon Sun, huh? I don't know. I don't know any. I don't know any like good ways of catching. I forgot like the different ways of catching shinies and on the 3DS games, like on the newer ones. I mean, like in. 
Pokemon Sun and Moon or the Ultra Sun and Moon games. I don't remember. Uh, Lorantis. Okay, switch to... Marowak. Do you have a shiny charm? Um, Gary? I'm sure that will help you a lot. Attack the Pokemon by mistake and killed it. We're gonna start all over and no shiny charm. Aww. Yeah, if you had a shiny charm, that would have helped you a lot. But then you have to catch all the all the Pokemon in the national decks in the game first to get that shiny charm. But yeah, shiny charm will help you a lot. Oh, but yeah, yeah. You, mm. Hey, welcome back on the big. Um. But yeah, is there like a is there like a chain that you have to do to shiny hunt in the sun, uh, moon and, sun and moon games? I don't remember. I do not remember. Excuse me. So like rock blast. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna go for Young Goose instead. <clears throat> Why not Fletchinder? Fletchinder is a cool Pokemon to have shiny. No, I didn't, I didn't read what he said. God dang it, that well. The battle took my breath away. I can't breathe the fresh air that way. I was supposed to meet up with the professor, right? Where was it? Mally Garden? Why do you want us to go to the garden? I guess we'll find out when we get there, right? I made it to Ulula Island now, clever girl. This means a whole new island Pokedex. It's all up to you what new Pokemon you'll uncover here, Dino. I'll get back to it. I'm pissed. Aww, I'm sorry. Mali City, enjoy the enticing eastern influence. Interesting. Okay. So this is where we got off on the boat. Oh, of course I'll go right there. Any items? Just trying to see if there are any items. Nope. Okay. Maybe not. It's a random course out here. Let's see. Ah. Ferry terminal, the right place to come for a comfy cruise. I was going for Sakuram for months and still no luck. I've been uh SR all day. I gave up. Screw it. I don't even want it anymore. Yeah, it's hard. I think, like, you know, for those legendary encounters in the game, you have to, like, reset, like, so many times. I think that's the only reason, that's the only way to, uh, to shiny hunt legendaries in the game. 
you like you have to reset if you're not if you don't get a shiny you have to reset and then you have to keep resetting until you get um, a shiny which takes a lot of patience just shiny hunting in general it takes a lot of patience and I don't think I can do that I have no patience with shiny hunt the island of Alola are all quite far apart from one another you wear out your poor Pokemon if you made them go that far. You have to take the ferry. Yeah. Or, but, you know, funny story. Um, when I was playing Let's Go Pikachu. Um, you know, okay, in Let's Go Pikachu, they made it quite easy to shiny hunt in um, the Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee games. Um... Because you, all you have to do is just catch the same Pokemon and, you know, have a, a, a combo going. And, um, even, even at that time on uh, Let's Go Pikachu, I had no patience to uh, Shiny Hunt in that game. Even though they made it easier, I still had no luck. And, like, I just, I don't know. I just, yeah, couldn't have the patience. But, <clears throat> funny story... I did end up catching a shiny Pokemon in that game without even trying. Um, and it happened on stream too. So I was on, I was in Cinnabar Island in that um, abandoned mansion area. And uh, I was about to leave. I was like in the mansion. I was about to leave the area. And as soon as I was about to like, I think go like out of the doorway like the door of the mansion a shiny rattata spawned right in front of me like out of nowhere and i <laughs> and i caught it but it was just like really random and it caught me off guard like when i when i try to catch a shiny pokemon i won't i can't ca like i can't find one but when i'm not trying a random shiny Pokemon would just appear out of nowhere, and yeah, and I would catch it. It's it's weird, but it was cool. I don't have any more patience. The only shiny I got today was a, was my Tentacle. Uh, live shiny decks with SOS battle. Ooh, that's cool. That's cool. Once you've seen how fierce on the totem Pokemon is. You can face just about anything. Yes. Indeed. Okay. What do you guys say? Oh, a tourist. Now I can finally use that line I've been wanting to use. Welcome to Molly City. Two great peaks over... Wait. Two great peaks tower over Ula, Ula Island. Mount Hokulani and Mount Lanakila. Some interesting names. Did you know that snow falls on the peak of Lanakila even in the height of summer? That's interesting. What do you sell? Well, there's a new terminal. Oh, you don't sell anything? Really? I thought you were gonna sell stuff. Welcome to the um, ferry terminal. Where are you headed today? Uh, stay here. Okay, let's see this area. What time is it? It's 4.39. Okay, we'll put the end here pretty soon. Just, um, like 20 minutes. Alright, let's go to the Pokemon Center. Thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon full health. Seriously? I just got a Mewtwo through Wonder Trait. Through Wonder Trait. Oh, it happens. I, I remember getting. I remember getting a lot of shiny Pokemon from Wonder Trait. And legendary Pokemon from Wonder Train, uh, Wonder Trade too. Even shiny legendaries from Wonder Trade. Wonder Trade is like the best thing 
in Pokemon when it got first introduced in, I think, in X and Y, I believe? Maybe? Right? But yeah, I love using Wonder Trait. Are you doing a let's play or just a playthrough? What's the difference? <laughs> Um, I'm doing, I'm doing a, a playthrough, I guess. Cause I, I play, I, I played, uh, Pokemon Moon before. I've been Pokemon Moon before, but I'm playing, uh, again. And I'm doing a randomizer playthrough. So what I did was, um, randomized all the random encounters. Uh, the NPC trainers Pokemon, my, the starters that you choose in the very beginning, and the avatars of the trainers that you battle. It's the, base, it's the same thing? Yeah. I got almost every legendary shiny legit from Wonder Trait. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure I have two, maybe. I don't know. I have like a lot of shiny legendaries from, from Wonder, Wonder Trait. And all the shinies that I have currently are mostly from Wonder Trade. <laughs> Excuse me. You know those times when you do nothing at all and just lays about? They can be a really beautiful thing. Can it? Ula Ula Ana is so big that riding on Pokemon doesn't always cut it for everyone. A lot of people just. A lot of people take the bus too. When Pokemon evolve. Do you think they feel like, yes, finally? Ha, <laughs> that's funny. I got every Arceus in every form from Wonder Trade. That's cool. That's awesome. Technical machine. Ooh. basically bought everything before we came here so let us move on my garden a paradise for perambulation I don't even know what that means I want a legit shiny Hoopa and Victini rip. Yo, I, I, I love Victini. When it like when uh, Victini was introduced in the in black and white, I think it was awesome. Everyone says you must visit the garden if you were visiting Molly. Man, it's been a while since I last saw you around. But weren't you supposed to meet? With the professor in Molly Garden? No, but what, what? No, but I want that Zygarde cell. Yeah. Fuck you, Lily. <laughs> Good to see you. All right, fine. Let's go in there. We can go back here. No, dang it. Hey. All right, let's go inside. Molly Garden. So pretty. What's your favorite legendary from any generation? Um, I have quite a few favorites. Um, I like Groudon. I like Latios. Um, who else are legendary? I don't hmm, I think those two are the only ones that I really like. Like that are like really my favorites are Groudon and Latios. I heard that they serve tea somewhere here in Molly Garden. I'll start my search from the bridge here. Why don't you start around the edge of the garden? Okay. No riding upon any Pokemon within the garden except for Charizard. Okay. It's a map of Molly Garden. Apparently, there is some kind of motif. Alright. I 
would say Giratina and Rayquaza. Nice. Those are great choices. Speaking of, um... Speaking of Giratina... You think they're gonna make a, a Diamond and Pearl remake after Sword and Shield is uh, after Sword and Shield comes out? I think that's what a lot of people are thinking. Oh shit! Today is Pokemon Day. Is it? <laughs> Youth Athlete Ailey. Delphine. We want a Pokemon Stadium remake? Dude. I've always been wanting a Pokemon Stadium 3. If not 3, then a remake would be awesome. That would be cool too, but I would always want a Pokemon Stadium 3. But that never happens, and I don't know if it's ever going to happen. But I'm not going to lie, if if they ever announce a Pokemon Stadium 3, that would be... Like, I would be so happy. Happier than any future gen release. Like, I'd be so happy if they released Pokemon Stadium 3. Like, um, what got me into Pokemon in the first place was uh, Pokemon Blue for the Game Boy and Pokemon Stadium on Nintendo 64. Like, those two games are what made me love Pokemon. <clears throat> so, if they ever announce Pokemon Stadium 3, oh man be happy as hell but pop p <laughs> welcome to the stream how are you we need a legit sh shiny new event for 2019 you never got one yet there wasn't a shiny event in um for 2019 mine was Leaf green and fire red for for game Game Boy Advance. So the remakes, the uh, the Kanto remakes. Wait, no, they're, they're not Kanto remakes, are they? No, yeah, there are thing. Yeah, yeah, they're they're the. You have one. Okay, let's switch out for Majesty here. They need to bring one. They only release the legendaries regular. Oh, I got you. I mean, they did a, a shiny event for the Let's Go games. You get um, I think you have to go to Target, and you can get yourself a a shiny Pikachu or a shiny Eevee, depending on which game you got. I don't know if that event is still going on right now, though. I'm level 33! I'm fine, because I'm with Cleffa. Oh, uh, was your Pokemon supposed to be a Cleffa? What? No anime waifu titties? Hey, Sushi, welcome to the stream! No, not tonight. We'll continue that tomorrow. Oh, an item. Excuse me, a luxury ball, sweet. How are you, Sushi? Um, eh. Off? What do you mean, off? The water sure is clear here, huh? I wonder if the Pokemon are all hiding in the shadows of the rocks or something. Home, off work? Oh, okay, I got you. I mean, that's good, isn't it? You're off work. Get the hunts to stay home and relax. That's a good thing, right? 
Oh, off work. <laughs> sure. Thought you meant like off in a funk. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Yeah, that too. Oh, why? Why you gotta be like that? What in the world is the secret of the pond in this garden? I don't know, but the water is really blue. Oh, got around him. Haha. <laughs> Someone an autistic velociraptor because he was being a shithead. What? Why? What happened? <laughs> Jeez. Alright, before we talk to the professor here. Rage candy bar. Yummy. I heard this garden was designed by people who came here to Alola from Johto. So that's it. I thought it felt kind of exotic. Mm -hmm. Fancy games. Darn it. I'll send you my derby drawing to cheer you up. Yeah. Ooh, a Lunatom. Unnecessary amounts of noises for no reason? Oh. Sorry to hear that. Uh, it was either that or throw a pellet at <laughs> him. Uh, I guess insults are better than hurting someone because then that, that can, you know, send, send you to jail for assault. <laughs> Yay, we've got a lunatone. Only if you get caught. <laughs> true. 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 Only if you get caught. But you gotta be quick. <laughs> By the way, uh, Sushi, I don't know if I asked you this ever since you uh, finished or, you know, finished building that PC and started using it, but like, yeah, how is. How's using a PC so far? How are the games on PC and streaming on an on a I guess better PC? <laughs> Smoother, nice. That's good to hear. Fun, nice. Awesome, awesome. Have you checked out the uh the Steam Summer Sale? There's some really great sales going on in that summer sale. Wait, what the fuck? Why is this water purple? The food? Oh, maybe because of this. Um, whatchamacallit. Copped a few things? What'd you get? What'd you get? I still haven't bought uh, a game from the summer sale because I don't really know what to get, honestly. When I'm traveling, I just want to point out everything. I'm so addicted to garden paws, it isn't even funny. I mean... It's like the best thing... Best thing... Close to like... I guess, um... Well, actually no. I mean, yeah. It's like close to, close enough to like, um... Animal Crossing and uh... What, Harvest Moon? You can't really stream Animal Crossing unless you use an emulator. But then once the um, Animal Crossing for Switch comes out, you can use your capture card. But then again, Harvest Moon is already on PC, so you can cap like yeah, stream that off PC. But Garden Paw seems fun. Yeah, it's on sale for like seventeen dollars, which isn't much of a sale. But I put twenty-two hours in it since like Thursday. Dang. Have contemplating on getting Fatal Bullet, dude. Fatal Bullet is worth it. Fatal Bullet, blah, blah. 
can't talk. Fatal Bullet is so worth it. It's so what? It's on sale for like what? Eleven dollars or twelve dollars right now, right? I'm. I really want to get. Um. I really want to get the uh, expansion. Cause I want to play that. That uh, you know that story for that expansion. Um, a Fatal Bullet. But um, you got Yakuza Zero and Call of Duty. Which Call of Duty did you get? For one noise. Ooh, Secret Mana is on sale. I actually thought about getting Secrets of Mana. I've never played any of the other mana games. I think there are other mana games, right? But yeah, I never played any of the other mana games. But yeah, you you already know that I've I uh, I streamed uh, Fatal Bullet on my channel, Sushi, and um. Dude, that game is so worth it. That game is fun. The story is awesome. It's like, the story is like, long enough for its price. Like, it's well worth it. Now that it's on sale, now it's really worth it. <laughs> and then you get like, DLC story also, and guns, weapons and whatnot, and costumes. I say the game's worth it. Secret of Mana is the shiznit. Is it? I should try it out one day. I've never played it, but I have the remake they did for PS4. So I haven't started it. Oops. What? Just haven't started. Wait, remake of what? Uh. Secret of Mana? Um, oh, it's 4.58. Crap. Spend all this time talking. Oh, I like talking anyway. I like interacting with you guys. Yeah, Secret of Mana. I think I've seen like gameplays of Secret of Mana. I kind of and I kind of make me want to get it. Maybe one day. I don't know. I need to uh, check on it again and see. But um, I want to get um that game called Bloodstained. Bloodstain Ritual of some of uh, whatever the rest of the name is. It's like that um, um, Castlevania type game. It's like a side scrolling hacker slash platforming, I think, type of game. Everyone and their mama's playing it. Dude, I want, I want that Bloodstain game. That game looks really cool. It's on sale on Steam for like what thirty six dollars I think, but I want to get it on Switch because I again I need more games for my Switch. <laughs> okay, Frillish is a, a water and ghost type I believe. So let's use Shocklock. I'll wait because I bet in a few months it will be dirt cheap. Hopefully, hopefully. But yeah, I want I want to play. That bloodstained game. That game looks really cool. It looks really like pretty too. Alright, Thunder Punch. Alright, I just closed everything. Everything about my Pokemon. Yeah, there's a lot of games I want to get, man. So many games. And for, like, for so many platforms, too. Like, I need to get games for PC, for my Switch, for my PS4, um, for Xbox. Like, that's probably the biggest con, I guess, maybe? If you can call it a con of owning all consoles, so I don't know, yeah. But I need more games for I need. I mainly need more games for my PS4 and Switch. Get it, Yaho? Get what? Modern Warfare One? I'm not a fan of like Call of Duty games, honestly.
chemical round. I'm gonna go around because I'm then go the other side. So let's see what's on the other side before we end here. Oop. I only had fun playing um, Black Ops, the first Black Ops game because I was playing it with friends a lot. Like in person, not online, but like in person. So that was fun. That was like Black Ops, the first Black Ops game was probably the only Call of Duty game that I really enjoy, but yeah, I'm not that big of a fan of Call of Duty games. Or like shooters in general but I'm getting I'm getting into like um not like first person shooters but like more into like third person shooters like Fatal Bullet Fatal Bullet was a is a third person shooter game um I mean I got into Fortnite for a little while uh what else what other third, third person Bright Memory, Bright Memory was fun that I played not too long ago. Come on, Slowpoke, let's just take it easy, okay? Well, I guess you're always taking it easy, huh? You're such a Slowpoke, Slowpoke. That's funny. Slow. Alright, let's battle you. Alright, time for a commemorative photo. Just. Need you to lose for me, okay? No. No. I'm not losing for you. Fuck you. <laughs> Twins and Mitch. A chincha. I think my biggest adjustment is new keyboard. Well, you need a new keyboard or your, um,. You're not used to using a full size keyboard. Because you're used to using your laptop keyboard. Just got one? Oh, okay. So you're not used to using like a, a desktop keyboard. Cougar Deathfire? That sounds like an interesting name for a keyboard. What company? Not this one? Oh. Cougar. Oh. I thought. The name is just like the name of the keyboard is a like I mean the what is it the, um, the model is called Cougar Deathfire so the brand is Cougar okay the model is Deathfire gotcha it's a hybrid mechanical mm, cool I have a WASD version two with Browns. Nice. I have a coarse hair strafe with, uh, I think blue keys, blue switches, if I remember correctly. I like clicky, I like clicky keys. Sneeze a little. Um, Blues are so loud, yeah. They are, but I, I just like the satisfying clicks of the keys. Like when I had um before I used before I had the uh this Corsair strafe, I used to I used a um a razor black widow with green keys with their own you know, razor have their own uh green switches, but they're basically like blue switches which are clicky. Yeah, I like that. I don't know, I just like having clicky keys. It's just a satisfying sound every time you type. I'm pretty sure you guys can hear it every time I type uh, on stream. I'm thinking about putting dampeners on my browns. Had it for had it about two years and he keeps saying keeps saying I will. 
But what are dampeners? Yeah, what are dampeners? I don't know what those are. Browns are kind of loud too, but I like it for typing. And I used to do transcriptions, so that was the best. Nice. What did I say? What did I say? No, I'm not losing for you. Fuck you. Excuse me. It's over here. Oh, shit. But yeah, I like... I, I I like I just like the, the blue keys. Um, I've used red keys before, red switches. I thought they were gonna be like I don't know to my liking, but they're really not. They're like silent, kind of silent, but they're smooth though. Like when you push it down, like you you don't feel like a um, you don't feel like a click sound. Like, when you push it, it just goes smoothly down. But yeah. Um... Almost like little rubber bands that you put that softens the sound. Oh, okay, I got you. Between switches and caps, I got you. Oliver, it's Oliver. Hello, welcome to the stream, how are you? Um, does anyone want to trade? I'm sorry, Oliver. Um, I'm playing this on on an emulator because I'm doing a randomizer playthrough, so I can't trade. <laughs> I don't like reds, need a harder press. Got you, got you. Yeah, I didn't I didn't like uh, the red switches either because they were just, I don't know, like I said, I like the clicky feedback. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry, Oliver. is this? Alright, grassy seed. Ooh, fancy. Are you hacker? How is it? 32. How is what 32? It's Oliver298. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome to the crew. How is what 32? Oh, shit. Oh, a canto golem. Your katana? Oh, like I said, I'm doing a a randomizer playthrough. So, what I did was uh, I randomized the random encounters, the Pokemon that the NP the train the NPC trainers use, the starters that you choose in the beginning, and the avatars of the trainers when when you actually go into battle with the NPC trainers. So, the reason why my Kartana is level 32 is because I caught it re really early in the game when, like, um, when you, like, first start the game. Because, like I said, I did randomize the random encounters. So, I encountered um, a Kartana early in the game in the grass, and it was, like, I think level three or level two when I encountered it so yeah I caught it and it's been in my party since the beginning so that's why it's level 32 right now but yeah this is my team that I have so I have Kartana, Magirna, Alolan Golem, uh, Beware, Alolan Marowak, and Suicune But yes, I am playing this on an emulator because you can't do a randomizer playthrough on an actual copy of the game. Okay, thank you everything now. Am I good? Alright. If I'm good then we're gonna save here for now. Cause it is past five o'clock. So what time is it? It's five ten now, so shit. Yeah, I have to end here. Alright guys, we are going to end here, but Oliver, I'm sorry that you came by like around the ending part, but 
I do stream around the same time or 2 a.m. Eastern time if you do want to I don't know come by again but we'll continue po uh, playing Pokemon on Thursday yeah Thursday Um, you know, thanks for streaming. Underbaked, where have you been? <laughs> Where'd you go? Just like disappeared. But thank you for being here. Good night, everyone. But if you guys could please uh, stay for a little while while I look for someone to raid, I would really appreciate it. But yeah, um, Oliver, thank you again for stopping by. Thank you for that follow earlier. I appreciate it. Upper but uh, that's where he been. <laughs> Is that why his name is Underbig? Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Get it? Uh-huh, uh-huh. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's see. Been microwaving bread. Undercarriage. What? No problem. Yeah, thank you. I really appreciate it. All right, let's see. Um, we got Damage Plushie playing, or streaming right now. She's, uh, streaming Star Ocean Anamnesis. Anamnesis. I don't know how to pronounce that game, but whatever. I'm gonna punch you in the throat. You <laughs> Underwear. Moist undercarriage. What the fuck? Guys. You guys are funny. Alright. Let us raid. Let us raid plushie. Under eyes. Oh. Plushie dyed her hair. Again. She got like. Blonde and. Like. Like blonde with like other colors. That's fancy. Alright. So. I can't think of anything else. Um, I don't know. I don't know either. All right, let's read. Damn. Whoops. Damn. Aged plushie. Under butt. Under boob. <laughs> Under arms. All right. Cool. Let's get this raid started, shall we? But everyone, thank you all for stopping by. Thank you all for being here, Callie. Sushi, Underbaked, Oliver, uh, who else was here? Um, I know someone else was here that that was new. Gary, um, someone else that came by for a little while. I don't know, I don't remember their name, but everyone, thank you for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Hope you guys did enjoy the stream. Hope you guys enjoy your night and have a great rest. And yeah. I has adult juice boxes. Share. All right. Good night, guys. I'll be back later uh, tomorrow night, and I'll see you guys then. See ya.